Hi, we are Tina and Bernie and our Border Terrier Blue and not forgetting our converted Bilingo Buddy. We are the other Windsors. Right, we've had a few requests from some of our subscribers and on Facebook as to what we actually use for cooking when we're in the van. Being such a small space, things have to be very compact. So we just thought we'd just pop up a wee video of what we actually use for cooking and eating. So let's start with the most important bit of kit. Everybody needs a kettle because we all like a cup of tea or coffee if you're that way inclined. We've got a choice of two. We've got this little travel kettle that we'll use when we're on electric hookup. But honestly, little is the word. I think it's only half a litre or three quarters of a litre at most. And you can't really make two decent cuppers with it. So we don't tend to use that very much. And if we were to get a bigger one, we might not be able to get it in the cupboard. So uh, the thing we use the most, the kettle we use the most, is this good old fashioned whistling kettle. We love this. And we use this on the gas burner all the time. We uh, tend to fill it up with water before we leave home or if before we leave site to move on. That way, if you want to stop on site or anything, you don't have to hook up your water because your kettle's already full. And to be honest, we've never had a problem with it splashing or leaking anywhere. Uh, we love our little green kettle. Right, so for pans, obviously, as I've said, space is of a premium in a small van. We've had this little what was a mess burning pan set. It's called a, a Trangia. I think the name's on the top there. And the thing about it is the, the pans all stack inside. So we tend to use this on the gas. Okay, so you've got what's supposed to be a frying pan, but also doubles as a lid. You've got a wee kettle in here. We don't use it as a kettle, but I'll tell you what it is useful for. We use a lot of boiling the bag rice because you don't get any mess. There's no rice to clear up afterwards. If you pop your boiling water in there and you're boiling the bag rice in and pop the lid on, it's great for cooking rice. And then you have two pans that stack inside each other, slightly smaller one. And then the one that we tend to use the most is this bigger one. Now you're probably wondering, I've not got any handles on. Ah, here's the handle jobby. So useful. It clips onto any of the pans. It also can clip onto this one if you want to use it as a lid. And we find that this works, I mean, we've cooked stews soups, rice, curries, everything just using these pans. I wouldn't be inclined to use this as a frying pan though. In our case, this set's probably about, oh gosh, I don't know, 15, 20 years old. And the non-sticks, it's not non-stick anymore, so eggs stick to it. So we don't use that as a frying pan. What we do have is this one. This is a bog standard frying pan, but what Bernie's done is he's taken the handle off and ground it down so it's nice and smooth. And again, we can use this detachable handle for the frying pan. Jobs are good. So then, of course, we have the infamous, wouldn't be without, Ridge Monkey. This is probably the best bit of kit we've got in our little kitchen. You can do all sorts with this. I'm not going to go into what you can cook on it, because I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there showing just exactly what you can do. But I will show you the pan, just in case you haven't seen it before. All packs away into this nice little neoprene bag. And it flips open, it's hinged at the back and you can actually separate that into two separate pans. Again, that gives you more flexibility for what you're cooking. Just have to get it a certain angle to get it back. This pan comes complete with a little tool kit inside. So first of all, I'll show you the, the handles. 
Again, they're detachable, so it just makes storing things easier. And they just clip into the pan. I press the little button and it's on. Same with the top one. The other thing I will mention, this is a magnet. So when this pan is closed down, the handles actually clip together. So it's nice and sturdy. So because we've got this Ridge Monkey and it comes with this tray of utensils, this is really what we tend to use. Because they're small, everything needs to be small. So you've got a little spatula, you've got a fish slice, a slotted spoon and a solid spoon here. But I will say we've had probably three or four trips out now and this spoon is not adequate really for doing very much. So what I've decided to do is to bring another one out of the kitchen. So I've now got this one. Still quite small, it'll still go in the cupboard. But at least I can dish up now without spilling half of it. Other utensils we use, like um, a long pair of, I'm not sure what Bernie would call these. What would you call these, Bernie? What are they? Are they barbecue? Tongs. Well, yeah, the tongs, but I'm not sure what the prime purpose is, really. We use them for sausages. Uh, yeah, anything turning, turning food. I have to say that I've not, I've not really used them much. I carry them just in case. And then, obviously, there are times when you're going to need a proper knife. So we have one laser sharp knife. And uh, again, Bernie made this little scabbard to put it in, so uh, there's no danger of cutting yourself when you get it out of the cupboard. The little bit of kit that we've got, well, Bernie bought it really, is um, I keep calling it a blowtorch, but it's actually a little chef's um, blowtorch. Blowtorch, yeah, and it's very good. We use it for browning the tops of pizzas. Don't think you can see that, but you can probably hear it. And also, somebody put a video on YouTube the other day of the fact that they'd made a lasagna, but they could have done with something to crisp the top. Well, this little baby would be brilliant for that. And Bernie loves this, don't you? Oh, yes. It's also very good if you have a, a barbecue. Um, it's really good for, for lighting the uh, briquettes on a barbecue as well to get, those, to get yeah. those started. I never thought about that. You just like starting fires, really, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> So moving on, you've cooked all your food and obviously then you need something to eat it with and something to eat it on. So uh, in the middle section here, again, because there's just two of us, you don't need to be carrying a full drawer's worth of cutlery. We just have this little plastic box with the essentials in. And it also stops you making too much washing up as well if you've only got a limited number of things. Obviously, Scissors are crucial for cutting your hand off your bacon and cutting packets open when you're old like me and you can't open them. Um, we did get some free, I think they're called um, sporks, uh, with a Kelly kettle we once had. The, uh, the spoon and the fork's very good, but I wouldn't rate the knives. They're pretty useless, to be fair. So we've got three of those. And then we had some camping sets before where you just get... One knife, one fork, one spoon. We've got two of those, so we've got one of those each. There's another spork. Another spoon. They do come in these little cases, but to be honest, I'm going to take them inside because we don't put them back in the cases anymore. They're just a nuisance, really. And basically, that is it. And of course, don't go anywhere without your can opener making sure it's got a bottle opener on. I know a lot of cans are ring pull these days, but you just never know when you're going to need a tin opener. So that's the cutlery. Then if I just get this little basket out, you probably notice we've got a couple of glasses for the whiskey. Oh dear. 
you know what? We haven't had that out and washed that. So it's a good job I'm doing this video for you guys because I'm not sure what that is. Um, whiskey liqueur? I'll have to take those inside and give them a wash. But you've probably noticed everything's got little, they're in bowls, uh, it's the bowls, etc. Oh, cook. So Bernie's just told me, we just had a conflab about this, how come we've got a dirty glass in the cupboard, doesn't look good. It was actually a rum and coconut liqueur from Home Bargains. Yummy. Obviously that yummy, we had a bit much more than we should have done and forgot to wash the glass, so I'll take that inside when we've finished. Having done that, you'll notice that we tend to stuff everything with tissue or we use some of this non-slip mat in between things. Just stops everything rattling in the cupboard. Cut. That's one of our subscribers trying to get a <laughs> photograph. <laughs> There's always something, isn't there? Yeah. Oh. Is it, which, which way is it going? Yeah, they're waving. Are they waving? Yeah. Which way is it going? It's heading south. Oh dear. We have to wait. So we started to film again after the helicopter had gone. And then guess what? The microphone failed again. Honestly, it's in, out, in, out. Shake it all about. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, these are just two bog standard melanine bowls that we used to have as part of an old picnic set. And this is what we use for anything like soups, curries and cereals. Nothing flash, really. We could have taken this bit of the film out, but for continuity, we decided to leave it in. So for plates and... Uh, other bits and pieces that we use for cooking and here we have a recent purchase again packed away in a bag with some anti-slip matting in between stop them rattling these are the oh Bernie stop there's a dog testing testing one two three why isn't this bloody microphone working <laughs> sorry so we'll try again that was quite a scary moment, actually. There was two great big Staffordshire Bull Terriers just came running up behind Bernie. Anyway, they've gone now, so we'll try again. These are official Ridge Monkey plates. They're much better than the ones we used to have before, because as I said, they were flat and everything used to run off. These are quite deep, so you can actually get stew or curry on these, not a problem. In a set, you actually get, I've got two sets here, you actually get one of the small plates, and one of the larger plates and I will pop a link up in the description below on where we got these so you can see they weren't exactly cheap but they're very good quality and I think they're going to last us quite a while and as I say they're deep so they're very useful and then other bits of cooking in here for cooking things these little silicone mats Again, I'll pop a link up for everything that we use. These are great. They're heat resistant. So if you need to take a pan off the stove and put it down, say, on your table or on the worktop here, you can put it anywhere. They're, they're absolutely fantastic. They're also non-slip as well. So there's not a lot of a chance of you knocking your pans while they're on those. Also, we have a couple of chopping boards. These are bamboo. Not exactly sure where we got these, but I'll have a look. And again, we use a small one like this if we're just going to make a sandwich. And if you're going to be preparing a salad or chopping vegetables, we have this slightly larger one. And again, it's backed with this anti-slip material, which means when you pop it down and you're chopping, it's not going to go anywhere. We've got so much good value out of this piece of non-slip stuff. You'll have to get yourself some, guys. It is so useful in so many different places. One thing I haven't showed you yet is what we use for cups. Um, we have a couple of Berghouse insulated cups that we've had f since oh, the year dot for camping. It's just one snag. They are rather large, which means I haven't yet worked out where I'm going to put them in the cupboard. So they tend to live in our washing up bowl in the sink. This is them, as you can see. They're quite a chunky little mug. 
they're double skinned so they're insulated keep your tea hot forever and they've got a built-in coaster in the bottom which means you can just put them down anywhere without worrying about whether they're going to mark the surface they do have lids but to be honest as i say it keeps the tea so hot if you put a lid on you won't be able to drink your tea till bedtime so uh, we tend tend to use the lids and they have to live in the sink for the moment there is just one other thing if we are out and about and we do bump into anybody and we invite them round for a cup of coffee and a piece of cake you will have to bring your own cup plate and forks because we do only have enough for two people <laughs> i didn't think about that perhaps we ought to get a few more in case we ever have guests we need more space in there. yeah this is true we are limited <laughs> but thanks for watching guys and until next time the other windsors <laughs>